Matthews. Andy Dalton, cut by the Cincinnati Bengals today, and I don't think that this was a big surprise to anybody. Um, it was a touch he, surprising because I, I kind of thought that they would keep him around just for Joe Burrow. I mean, he's a veteran. Like, it, what is it, nine his years? Deal, his mean, deal is not. It's 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 $17 million, which yeah. is pretty cheap for a quarterback considering you, your other quarterback's on a rookie deal. You don't really have a backup, I can't assume. And I, I just I, – I don't know why if you're going to cut him and you knew you were going to take Joe Burrow three months ago, why don't you cut him before free agency? This is just a cash grab because it's not like you're going to spend that money in free agency. All the yeah. free agents are gone. It, it so makes, what are you going to do with that $17 million? It, it sure would have been nice to use it for one of these offensive linemen yes. uh, that, you know – was available and, and tell to me, you tell me this: like, why? Th- there's nothing that he could have done to make you want to cut him right now, because no. like everybody's been in quarantine for you know over six weeks now. Strictly a cash grab. It's strictly we're going to save seventeen million dollars to the cap. Wait, now, was it something with his contract? Maybe I mean, it's, what, it was just he was owed seventeen million dollars if we kept him on the roster this year. And why do that? None of that money's guaranteed. We don't have any dead cap money towards the contract so we can cut him and get out of this deal for nothing. And it was just, that's the only logic I got. And I, while yes, $17 million is, is a nice thing to save when you're running a professional franchise, I would like him just as some security, just a little comfort in the, in the quarterback locker room, um, you know, to just say, Hey, we're and gonna competition. Keep you, in you talk about this all the time. Uh, it, humans, Crave you talked to, to me about this today. Humans crave contact. They crave pressure, stress. Competition is better for everybody. To bring yes. Burrow in and just tell him it's his job, even and though he's the I number don't one pick, know that's healthy. I it's just not don't like that. I understand where you're coming from. I get it. The whole thing I'm really is really good at my job because there are a lot of flooring people in the business, and we all have to work really hard to be good because one bad review can tank you because there's 20 of them around in DeSoto County alone. That's not even going into Memphis. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable. So I have to be good at what I do. I'm always, always building a resume to try to be as good as I can. It's, it's, it's weird to think about the fact that it has changed this much because it's not like this is the only franchise that's done it. The Browns did No, it. no, you know? other people do it all the time. I thought Cam was going to keep his job for the exact same reason. I thought they would bring in Teddy. Teddy would start or they would trade, they would draft a quarterback. The new guy would start and Cam's just going to be the backup and $19 million with zero guaranteed. So if you're eight games into the season, you cut him, you save half of that money. No big deal. Yeah. Or somebody might need a quarterback late. Right now, they're not willing to trade you dick for it. But we don't know that week seven, they'll trade you a a second round or a third round pick, a really valuable asset. The Steelers last year, I guarantee you they were looking for something. Yes. Anything. Yes. You know? I mean, because once— Absolutely. You could have gotten the Steelers' third round pick this year in this draft last year. If you want it, and, well, because a quarterback and, for them last year meant the playoffs. That's like, right. That's, that's right. The difference you, between one game last year for them or Cam Newton for them and the jabronis that they rolled out last year is night and day. Yeah, a hundred percent. So, so back to Andy Dalton. Um, I am still able. I think he was incredibly underappreciated in Cincinnati, and Maybe. I understand. Like he, he was good. He was good. Yeah, he was good, and he is. Uh, he is exactly what you talked about yesterday with it or two days ago, whenever it was about he, he is middle of the road, not good enough to get you to the Super Bowl, uh, but not bad enough to get you the number one pick. And he, he gets yeah. you in no man's land. And I understand that, but I still think that he is a good, incredibly capable quarterback. I, I obviously there's a number of places that he could end up. You mentioned in our group chat earlier, this is the first time maybe ever in NFL history that we have had more quarterbacks than jobs. Uh, James Winston took a non-job job. job. He realistically is going to be probably the third quarterback on the depth chart. Okay. Yeah. More than likely. For for a million dollars, by the way. Yeah. 1.1. He's, he's behind so many people. He's making nothing. Cam Newton currently unemployed, 
Now, Andy Dalton, currently unemployed. I don't know where these guys land. I'm going to tell you the, the person that looks like a complete moron in all of this is a guy that has done a pretty good job making himself look like a moron the last couple of years to begin with. That's Ryan Pace. That is a general manager of the Chicago Bears, my friend. Yes. This guy could have had Andy Dalton for the third or fourth round pick uh, and and chose not to with a $17 million uh, salary that's not guaranteed. Could have Cam Newton for a third or fourth round draft pick with $19 million, not guaranteed. So if you get him in the camp, you don't like him, get him in the middle of the season, you don't like him, you move on. Or you can spend a third round pick and get a guy with $25 million guaranteed on his contract. And I think he's the third guy out of Cam and Dalton. Yeah. And that doesn't even well, include Jameis. He doesn't even tr- – it's like he doesn't even try to make the quarterback position better. It's, it's like it's unreal. he thinks he gets extra credit for their team winning with one hand tied behind their back. I think that Dalton would have killed it in Chicago. Oh, I, no, that, that – I would tell you that's the per- – that's the place where I believe stability and, and a good quarterback that doesn't beat himself – could thrive. I mean, hell, Rex Ryan took that team to a Super Bowl. Yeah, not Rex Ryan. Rex Grossman. Rex Grossman. <laughs> Rex, Rex Grossman. Rex, Rex, Rex Ryan, Ryan never took anybody to a Super Bowl. Rex yeah, Grossman. No, you're right. You're Listen, right. I don't know that Rex Ryan couldn't have taken that team to a Super Bowl. I, no, I agree. I mean, he almost got the Jets there twice. Like, it's yeah. just ridiculous. With, but no, with, I, I'm with just telling you. Mark Sanchez at quarterback. Re- Rex, Rex Grossman took them to a Super Bowl. Yeah, that, that you don't have to be the uh, the best stories in the world are of Mike Dicka and Jim McMahon. All right, we all as fans love Jim McMahon because he was the quarterback of the '85 Bears, and Dicka abused that man. There were times after games where I remember reports of coming out of the locker room where everybody was getting ready to shower, and Dicka would grab um, McMahon and and pull him back and say, "Uh." You shower last. You didn't do anything today. You're, you're not dirty. You didn't sweat. Those other guys worked their ass off. You didn't do anything today. And then when he'd finally get ready to go in the shower, Dicka would throw a mop at him and be like, mop up when you're done so you can actually earn your keep today. Like, <laughs> this is Bears quarterbacks our entire life. It was our entire yes. life, Gary. That's oh, I our know. whole life. I know. All right, Matt jumps in on YouTube. Apparently, we got YouTube back up today. YouTube did not jump in yesterday, so I don't know what happened. But Matt is in on YouTube. Uh, So, Andy Dalton, let's talk about where he ends up next. Uh, Obviously, we love to play the hypothetical game with Cam. We love to play the hypothetical game with Jameis. It may be a little while before Andy Dalton finds a job. Obviously, I mean, we're at the end of April here. It's the offseason. There's not going to be a whole lot going on. Everybody's still in quarantine. we got to figure out what's happening. So, uh, I've got my ideas I don't know if you've got ideas or not. I I will tell you this. I would love to see him on your Patriots. It's I think I, I know it I know it's not going to happen. I understand. But if it did, I would love it. I think the most likely landing spot for really any of these three quarterbacks uh, well, Jameis obviously out of here, but Dalton and Cam, either one of those could end up in Jacksonville. I think Having some competition for Gardner Minshew, like let's not forget, like he he wasn't great at the end of the season. No, that's right. Yeah, Dar- like, Gardner's Gardner, Gardner is fun. I don't know how great Gardner is going to be. He, I would like that. My only, and this is the problem. I don't know that Jacksonville makes that investment in either of these guys. While I think it's smart if you're trying to win football games, I don't know that that's their objective. Well, I don't I know think the, there's these are not guaranteed contracts going in for tank for Trevor. And I think it's Jacksonville. I mean, it might be. It it really might be with with the way that they have done it uh, so far. I could see it, um, but I also think like the Jaguars with Jay Gruden as the offensive coordinator. Like obviously Andy Dalton put up his best numbers under Jay Gruden when yeah, Gruden right. went to the Redskins. Obviously Cincinnati was not as good. You know, I could. I think there's a, a good relationship there. I could I think see if that. they try if they're trying to win. I do think that that's where he lands, mainly because of that relationship. I do believe that they have a leg up on 
Andy has a leg up on getting that job over Cam. I yeah. preferably think Cam is a better free agent pick strictly because he, he's, he's more healthy, boomer bust. You know what he's like. But, and that's, but that's what I've always wanted. I, I either want to have a great shot at drafting a good quarterback or I need the guy I got to be a home run, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So uh, you, you either tank or you got a shot to compete for a title and that's it. Like that's, that's what you need out of a quarterback. So um, I, I think Dalton does give them that because Dalton comes in and maybe is behind Gardner for a while so they can see. Let's give Gardner the old college try. Let's let him play four to eight weeks. And then we know, is he the guy or not? And I if he's not the guy, then you can finish the season with, with Andy and move on. Um, and you've got some closure there to where you've got stability and and Andy can, can finish the season out and whatever. So. Yeah. I can't wait for the schedule release. I, I want to see who these teams are opening with, what what it looks like as far as, all right, are they going to open one and three, or are they going to, you know, I I was talking about it about your Patriots today, you know. Yeah. We were discussing the uh, the possible record. So yeah. let's uh, let's move on from the NFL. Man, we spent 15 minutes. 